Ta-da! What's that, Raleigh? Hmm? Alright, dudes. Rock auto stuff. Let's see if I can get this in the hands. AC, dude, there's just like random boxes. This is so weird. Like random boxes inside of boxes inside of boxes. If you guys need any boxes, I have them all. Sweet. So a compressor, a dryer, and my orifice tube. So. Boxes of random stuff. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get that out of the box here, guys. So, give me a sec. All right. AC compressor, dryer, orifice tube, lines and hoses, and O-rings and seals and all the fun stuff. I hate AC. I know nothing about it, but. Going to install it and then uh, take it to Daddy Dale's to have it dried and charged. So let the fun begin. <laughs> so, dudes. Today, we are going to be doing my air conditioning. If you couldn't tell by the title. So, this is gonna be fun. Cause I've only done ACs and Jeeps and it's worked like once. So, let's give it a shot. Yeet. Bam, there it is. Compressor's out. Let me uh, get this camera here. Um, AC lines, they suck horribly. I have an auto craft tool here that did nothing for me. Um, that he did on the road, let me borrow his, his line tool. So I sprayed some WD-40 on it, I'm just letting it chill out a little bit longer um, but AC compressor is out Let's crawl up under here show you guys yep here we go that was fairly simple um, these two bottom ones I got with 13 millimeter ratchet wrench wherever it is that's not it it's over here somewhere. And uh, the top ones I got same way, just went up top and uh, actually used that 15 millimeter right there, that silver wrench. There's a little breaker bar on the back of that wrench and just popped them free and it took me a little while to spin all the, the bolts out, but once they're out, they just 
hang there until you're ready to pull the entire compressor out and the compressor will just grab it from right here and just kind of slide it forward and turn it sideways and it'll just literally fall right out it was easier than those lines up there so oh. I'm gonna try to get to work on this man I don't know uh, not having much much luck uh, these are pretty nifty little tools here just clips on and slides over and you can see that it slides all the way up you can see it slides slide all the way up it still won't release it so uh it's gonna be my fight fight for the right for ac in my truck <laughs> um I'm gonna throw, throw you guys back on the tripod and I'm gonna set up a little section where I record. I'm just gonna see if I can wiggle those free and go from there. My guard dog. Alright. Wish me luck. Oh, see? She's guarding me. Told you. Damn cats. Ta da! <laughs> uh, I've got one out. It was a pain in the ass. Uh, I've been doing this for like a day and a half now. That's out, that compressor's out. And now, the dryer. I've been using an assortment of tools. <laughs> if you wanna see how to fight a battle against an AC unit, or a uh, AC system. Okay, so everybody been on Instagram and Facebook and stuff that I've been uploading pictures to and saying how much of a bitch it is, they're like, well, get, get you some fucking tools. Well, I have some fucking tools, people. I have three of them. Um, all, everything online and all my buddies said, I've never messed with AC. I messed with it in my Jeep before, but um, not like this. Uh, so this one, it's a little blue point snap-on, whatever one. It's got these little teeth in the inside. Uh, this is a 5 ace one this one's also a 5 8 uh, this one got this no I don't think I think it was the little plastic ones was it yeah pretty sure the silver one now this, this one this one. one's mine this one got the front one off that one was really easy obviously but anyways uh, you just open this up slide it over the line and uh, it's already popped yeah, it's off, right there. but you just slide it forward and this will be sitting on it and you just slide it out and we'll pop the dryer out. Oh, yep. shit's falling. There's a little spring in there and that's what you're actually compressing, you're actually pushing that up. Oh, and it gets no. dirt and corrosion and crud and Nasty whatever shit. else you can think of. So yeah, this is out. Finally, <laughs> that was a that was a headache and a half. I still have one more line to go, and this one's terrible. Um, this one's it's seized in there so badly, as you guys can. I hope this line isn't going to be too ate up. I know you guys are looking at it. You're like, wow, this probably looks like shit. Um, Idiot. Yeah, I mean, I'll show you guys. It's supposed to just slide right, right out like that one did. I can spin it. I can wiggle it. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <clears throat> but it does not want to come out. It's, I mean, I don't, I just don't understand. So that's the next battle. Yeah. Pretty annoying. It's really annoying. <laughs> the compressor, everybody's like, dude, the compressor is a pain in the ass to get out because it's stuck between the frame and the motor. That thing slid out in five seconds. I think the hardest part was trying to figure out what size the bolts were because they were covered in a little bit of oil. Is it like the 240? No, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing compares that. I don't even think I've had Jeeps like the 240. That's really bad. Don't mind this Honda. Oh, shit. Don't mind this Honda Accord. Oh, yeah. Mike's doing a radio and hood. Yeah, I did little hood dampeners and oil change and oil mechanic today. We've been done. Oh, did we do all kinds of We did an oil change and this is Face's car today. Rob flushed his oil, but hey, I don't think he filmed it. Rob doesn't 
No. You didn't care to, so. And I'm not filming this just because it's such a simple job. It doesn't matter. Alright, well, we're gonna have to figure out how to do this last AC line. Fun. No. <laughs> Bye. Hi. Shit, where'd the piece go? Oh, here it is. Big Russian man. Our buddy Daniel and his oh, dad came me, over. Let me do awesome. Uh, and he's like triple the size of me. <laughs> and he um, ripped that bitch out. Yeah, it took him a took him a little while, but little, he got it out. Yeah, but it was it was basically caked in there. There you go, guys. Literally. Oh, well, hold on. So fuck you guys. <laughs> Who's hating? <laughs> They're probably like, well, fuck you too, bitch. You should piss me off, man. It's all right. Just a little finesse, a little help from people, and you get shit done. It was more than finesse, dude. He had a, like man. Right, a lot of a lot of finesse. Dude, he, did you like see him? Like he had a manhandle. That was, like, That's right. what Russians do, bro. All right. All right. Daniel's gonna get a laugh out of this video. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So it just sits back there. Sits back there and that'll sit right there. Hopefully. Hopefully it got a little tore up, but. We'll finesse. I'm gonna slap it all together and I'll let you guys know if it's in one piece or if <laughs> <laughs> we're setting the truck on fire. <laughs> Would you be setting it on fire? That would be a great video for you guys. I'm sure you guys will like that. At least we don't have forces we'll just do on it anymore. We'll do a giveaway. Giveaway for the truck? Yeah. It's got no AC, but... Honestly, I don't think anyone's gonna give a shit. <laughs> you guys think about that idea. Don't actually get it in your heads, because it's not happening. You guys are grappling off my truck. You know, that would be freaking sweet. That would blow up the channel real fast. Oops. Alright. Before I break stuff. <clears throat> you haven't already? Uh, now we cut stuff. Ow. Oh god. <gasps> A little side note. This engine bay is really freaking clean. For being what it is. Continue my trash talk towards Hondas. Alright, we're gonna turn this off. <laughs> Bye guys. And we're gonna check back in when Travis gets shit done. Ta-da! It's shiny Good and new. Woohoo. Now we get to reinstall it. Woohoo. Is there a place for me to get underneath the truck? I don't know. Alright, guys, give me one second. I'm gonna go deep Cummins. <laughs> Diving. Oh, fuck me. This isn't gonna work. Alright, guys. There we go. That actually works a little bit. Really? Kind of. I cut into Mesco Pro Life sometimes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because this thing's heavy as shit. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but we're going to sit this like this. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> I just stabbed myself with some Yeah, you can just stop recording until I get him out. I mean, it's, it's, true. it's pretty much in there. Alright guys. There's Travis. You get the point. This is shit. I'm in a really awkward position, and it's all crooked. <laughs> all right, Let's see if we can go uh, get this thing started up for you guys and show you. I just took it on a test drive and just backed it up into the the yard. So give me a sec before I drop the camera.
tell you what, the, the compressor was easy. The back line. But that dryer sucked. There you have it. Like I said. Woo! Sorry. Like I said, uh, needs a little more oil in it. It came with three ounces. I'm not sure if that is gonna be enough to hold up to all the driving that I do. So we're gonna add that and obviously gonna do a charge and see how it holds up. Uh, other than that, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed our little AC collab. Please subscribe, like, comment. Mike for President 2016. Later, guys. Ooh, look at those hands. What's up, guys? You uh, you see it first here. Um, having to replace this AC uh, compressor in line and condenser line, whatever you guys want to call it, coming off condenser going down to the compressor back to the compressor up to the dryer um we went to go charge the system and found out that it somewhere along in this area on the pot on the on the line that's on the truck now has a crack in it so a couple days later now i finally got the part and we're going to try to knock this out and see if i can get some ac in the uh in in the truck when we charged it, it just we lost about half a pound of Freon from it just spewing it all from the crack, so wish me luck. Okay guys, so um, everything's in there, uh, almost just about buttoned down, I guess you could say. Um, I'm, oh hold on, you guys are blurry, sorry about that. I am uh, just... the most difficult part of the install. I'm just uh, buttoning everything back up as you guys can see. Putting this little guy back on. Don't ask me why, that's where it belongs, so I put it on there because that's where it belongs. So, line's in. Everything's all tightened down, buttoned up. New line's clipped in. Here is the old line. And here, where you see it has rubbed flat, sorry, I suck at this thing, where you see it, it's rubbed flat, right there is a tiny pinhole, and it pissed all my Freon out. So, we are going to throw the cone back on there, the intake, and um, head down to Daddy Dale's house and see if I can get this thing charged. All right, dudes. pounds of vacuum uh, so now we just charge it up let's uh, hope and see if I have AC coming through my vents so I don't have to drive my windows down no more in the high Florida Sun all right I'll check back with you guys on the trucks maybe blowing cold air conditioning at me you guys ready to check it out? 
watch this. My interior is still not put together when I fix my shifter. It's backing up still with the camera. You know, once you YouTube, you learn how to drive and film, especially with a big ass camera like this. Alright guys, I hope it's focused in on me, uh, if it's not, it's going to be really shitty and I'm going to be mad, but from the looks of it, of me looking in my rear view mirror, I look pretty clear, but uh, yeah, so uh, that was the uh, Dodge HD install, it wasn't too bad, I know it obviously wasn't a how-to video, but um, some good doghouse footage for you guys. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Okay. I'm I'm putting the camera down. Deuces, guys. Be easy. Please like, subscribe, comment. Love my truck. Love Mike's car. Ooh, she's getting old. All right, bye, guys.